How do you get Colonel out of <laughs> Colonel? Colo Colon Colonial. 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 Yeah. Colonial. Yeah, how do you get that shit from there? I don't get that. Like, what the f Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Brandon, Steve. Uh, today we're looking at John J. Bowman and E.H. Taylor's small batch. Basically, we know this is a small batch. This is single barrel. Um, both Buffalo Trace, um, if you want to say that. Basically, uh, John J. Bowman distilled twice, and then it basically is the Buffalo Trace juice is then sent to Virginia and distilled again. Yep. Once again, guys, um, Thanks for uh, tuning in to the channel. Um, please subscribe, share, like, all that kind of stuff. Um, anything else you want to say? We are getting giving away that bottle of blend oh, yeah. for the first 500 subscribers, guys. So, yeah, uh, you know, subscribe so we can uh, maybe maybe it's going to be you. Maybe we're going to draw you know draw your name out of the out of the hat for that blends bottle. Um, the old blends that everybody's hunting and nobody can find. So yeah. we got one. We're giving it away. So just yeah, subscribe, guys. Mash bill number one, mash bill number two, um, if you want to say that. Uh, so basically in previous videos, we've actually looked at both of these, but we actually compared both of them to Blanton's. Um, so we're going to kind of see, and we actually chose both of these over Blanton's. Yeah, they're both better. For yeah. Sure. So we want to kind of have them face off and see what we think. Um, we're going to do a blind taste test on these yep. two today yep. and uh, see if we can figure them out. They're both 100 proof. Yep. And uh, so that will make it easier. At least we're not going to have one being hotter than the other. So we're, you know, we're not going to know that way. So. No, no, and, and and we know that this is small batch and this is single barrel, yeah. guys. We're not trying to, you know, say this is single barrel. Single barrel is supposed to be better, but this has been so damn good. Every time we try it, that uh, we figured, hey, you know what? Uh, let's see if it uh, can get a shot at the title because we know this is good. Yeah. So we're just going to do a blind comparison. Uh, we marked the bottle of these things. Uh, one is Colonel. Or okay. colonel, because <laughs> yeah. there's no R in colonel. Yeah. Yeah. We're just talking about that. Yeah. We don't know how the hell you get colonel out of C O L O N E L, but somehow over the years, uh, colonel has turned into colonel. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going with. Yeah. All but, right. Uh, so we let's go with the right. right. Yeah. Let's, let's, yeah. Let's, we don't know which one's which. So. Yeah. Definitely getting the vanilla, like yeah. I always do with Buffalo Trace. Well, sweetness. You getting the? I'm getting sweet. Yeah, you get the getting, corn. Mm. Yeah, a vanilla uh, caramel. I'm I'm actually getting with this one. I actually feel like I'm getting almost like a. It's it's fruity, like almost like I want to say apple. Really? A like a, like apple. a crisp apple? Yeah, I like it. Almost like apple. Um, yeah. Here's the beauty of this thing tonight. I'm, I know I'm gonna like both of them, so it yeah. doesn't even matter. It's, I, I just know that these are both good, so it's just a matter of which one's a little bit better, you know, so. That one was definitely good. Um, and that one, even though it was 100, yeah. I know that both of these is, is 100, that one did not. Oh, not, yeah, none of this is, none of this is gonna burn me out, I can tell you that for sure. Mm. After my. Uh, after your stag. After my stag, <laughs> stag. Should have bought a fire extinguisher. <clears throat> I'm interested now. This one I'm getting, um, I'm getting like, I'm getting popcorn for some reason on this one. I don't know why. Well, there's a lot of corn in here, so that's probably why. <laughs> I'm getting popcorn. I'm getting like, yeah, I'm getting like a uh, caramel popcorn on this one for some reason. Yeah, this one isn't as, uh, you know, I was just telling you about that one, feeling like that one was a little, almost like crisp apple. Mm -hmm. This one isn't, but it's still, they're, they're similar, but this one is, um, you don't get the oakiness with either mm. one of these. I'm not getting that at all on these. Um, I'm not getting a bunch of age on, on either one. They're just no. good. They're smooth. For me, I, I can tell you right now that this one is, is, is a head by, uh, by a nose, literally a nose. 
Hmm. I think. Yeah, for me, this is this is just a little bit overall more, a little bit more complex, to be honest with you. Well, and, and I'll, I'll say this: this one, going back to this one, this one kind of. Oh, there's the nuttiness. Yeah, I'm getting nuttiness now. I'm getting some nuts. I'm getting some giant nuts. So I will say this: yeah. this one. Uh, Ooh, yeah, it's nutty. This one has a, a little bit of a. A little bit of, of a bite off the top compared to this one, to me. Not not, and when I say bite, I'm not talking about heat. It's just more of a just kind of. It's like it hits you a little bit, in that terms the, of the your first one. Yeah, though? the first one, and I kind of like it. Yeah, they're they're unmistakably Buffalo Trace. I mean, I can't. Every, everyone's had Buffalo Trace. Knows what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, we do have one more thing that I want to try out. Uh, we're gonna pull this one out, guys. This one everyone can find. Bowman Brothers, a uh, little junior brother of, of this one here. And these are all made out of uh, Fredericks, Frederick, Fredericksburg? Yeah, Fredericksburg. <laughs> easier for you to say. Uh, Virginia, uh, out of the A. Smith uh, Bowman Distillery. I wish, I wish we knew somebody in Virginia that could get us something. Like yeah, we don't have any friends there. So sad. So yeah. sad we don't know anybody there. Actually, we do. He, yeah. he, just, doesn't, he just doesn't hook us up for whatever reason. <laughs> I've called it. For months now. Hey, hey, you live in Virginia, dude. How about hooking us up with uh, one of these? Nah, nothing. <laughs> uh, but he's a good friend. So yeah. anyway, we just let him slide on that. Um, but this one, guys, you can find anywhere. Like I said, this one is not a single barrel like that. This is a small batch. So in reality, this is should be more comparable to that. Except for uh, the heat. Except this is... This is 90 proof. 90, this one's 90 right? Yeah, yeah. So. so again, between 90 and 100, I don't know if you're going to notice a huge difference, guys, but... For some of you that have sensitive palates, possibly, I can tell you for me, I'm not going to notice it. But, I just uh, didn't, well, and, and that was the reasoning, uh, kind of not wanting to start with that, though, just just in case. Oh, yeah, yeah, for you sure, know? yeah. Um, yeah, the proof is always going to be the first giveaway right. on which one's which, for sure. Especially if you're doing like a 90 to like a 107 or higher, I mean, you're going to know. So, all right, so this one we know is the... Is the this, well, is, put it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's put it up there. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Yeah, put it up there. So this is this is Bowman Brothers small yep. batch. Yep. And again, I've, I've enjoyed this, guys. This this you can find for about thirty five bucks. It's just not it's just not as refined. It's just yeah. It's um. So it's, it's a bit harsher, even mm -hmm. though it's a lower proof. Right. It drinks hotter than ninety for me. Uh, it's probably because so it's not as smooth. It I was going to say it doesn't. It you, you're done? doesn't. For me, it does. And I think it's because it's not, it's just, it's got some bitterness to it. It's got some bitter notes to it. Mm -hmm. um, and for bourbons, I don't, I don't really particularly enjoy that. Uh, some right. people, some people might like that. Um, and by bitterness, I'm not saying like a rye spice. It's just like, it's just something that there doesn't, doesn't feel like it was, it was matured enough for me. Um, I have no idea, but I whatever it is, it's just, for me, it's not working out. This is my first time having it, and that's not bad. So, no, to I'm me, it's, it, no. I, I definitely think it's it's good. It's an everyday drinker if you want to, right? You know, you don't want to break your wallet. I mean, it's for but thirty to thirty-five bucks here in Georgia. I'm sure for you to live in Virginia, that's much cheaper. Uh, but you know, if you want to pick it up, um, there's nothing wrong with it. For sure. Yeah, no, it's 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 a good. It's a like you said. I think it would be a good everyday drinker. For me, it's um, definitely third. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. So this is um, my order right here. So, so this is my, I, I'm pretty sure that this is mine as well. Let me uh, double check with these. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much out. Well, I got a little bit left of this one. Like I said, so see now, I will say that. So now that this one's been, it's been sitting for a little bit, you mm -hmm. know, what, 10 minutes maybe? Five minutes? Something maybe, like that. Not, not 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, a couple minutes, whatever. This one is definitely sweeter. No, really? than it than it did. I mean, it was sweet initially. Yeah, but it's definitely sweeter now. And when I when I compare it to this one, like I said, this one has that little bit of a punch on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. One, one of these for sure did have a punch. So I can tell you, my if it has a one on it, it's the Colonel Taylor, and this one does have a one. So for me, um, this is my number one. So what do you got on yours? Mine does not have anything. So mine was John J. Bowman. John J. Bowman. All yeah. right. So. So you're obviously your. This is your second. 
and yep. this one this one finished yeah. last yeah um again this is the beauty of this stuff right so um we have two different opinions I don't yeah, think. and I kind of said this in my other video when I talked about uh, stag. I just, I'm, I'm just a mash bill one guy. I'm, I'm the low rye. And if, again, for you guys, uh, if this is your first time tuning in, the two mash bills that Buffalo Trace has, mash bill one and two. Uh, mash bill one is their low rye. Mash bill two is their high rye. Not a huge difference in rye. Just that's what they go with. Uh, and I've, you know, I've always been a mash bill one guy. And this is, this is mash bill one. Mash bill two is this juice right here, right. which is the same juice as Blaine's. Right. And, and I enjoy some of their products, don't get me wrong, but you know, this this just it seems to be my clap, my, my palette. Yeah. Uh, yours seems to be- Yeah, right now maybe, it seems yeah. it seems to be- Yeah. Which, which again, um, that's the beauty of this, because they're both good. Yeah. And we've yeah. compared this to Blaine's and it's kicked his ass and, yeah. and so has this one. But uh, again, this being a single barrel, any barrel could be different. Right, you know right. That. This seems to be more consistent for me. I honestly have not had a bad, uh, Colin L, uh, E.H. Taylor. I've not had a bad, uh, a bad kernel, but you know, who knows? Maybe in the future, you know, I, I have a I have a barrel of that, a single barrel that's better than this. So for yeah. now, though, I'm, this is the order I'm going in, and this is definitely finishing last. So. Yeah, I mean, like like you said, this one it just wasn't, it just it wasn't bad. Like I said, I think it would be good for a daily drinker, but yep. at the same time, it just it wasn't very. Uh, didn't it didn't have much to it you know yeah there's there's, no, was, there's it, nothing to write home about right. on that one honestly you know anyways for if you're going for price points right so this this would be somewhere around 50 bucks 55 bucks if you can find it right. which you probably can't let's be real <laughs> that's, uh, your, that's your favorite term if you can find it you, but can't you probably find can't because you can't i mean it's here's <laughs> the truth the, the ugly truth about all this stuff guys is i'd say probably 90 to 95 percent of everything that's good out there is allocated and yeah. it's hard to find i mean that's the sad part yeah. You know, now if you want Maker's Mark, and nothing against Maker's Mark, it's good. But if you want that, it's there on the shelf all day long. Whistle Pig, all day on the shelf. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Evan Williams, all that stuff is just sitting on the shelf. And they're all decent products. I'm not saying they're, they're bad. But the bottles that everyone's chasing, uh, impossible to find. So, yeah. anyway, going back to the price point, somewhere around 50 to 55 bucks if you can find it uh, at retail. This is somewhere around 50 bucks, and this is about 30 to 35 right. bucks. So, right. I mean, yeah, um, so they, you get what you pay for almost. Right, you know? and so you know, and that was what we were, you know, so the original two, same proof, basically same price point if you same can find price them. Point. Two right. different mash bills from Buffalo right. Trace. Right. Um, yeah. And then this one a little bit less. Yep. You yep. Know, so. 